Alrighty. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What's the scoop, my J Rock stars? J Rock X back in the building. You already know. Sitting here getting ready to tear up some ramen. <laughs> um, in the last episode, uh, we took care of. Uh, how do you say his name? Oh, Amnel, right. <clears throat> Which is really the professor of the Red Dorm, as well as beating Tit uh, Titan for the second time around. This was to rescue Alex's brother again. Um, and you see, I took care of all of the uh, ugh, took care of all of the reverse duels. There are uh, no more exclamation points there. And we're right here, Rise of the Sacred Beast. So I could just read all of this, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened. What wound up happening is um. Chaz, and I'll leave that up there so that you can see, Chaz, um, you know, still loves Lexus, so he wound up taking the remainder of the, um, the Shadow Keys, I think that's what they were called, Shadow Keys or something like that, he took the remainder of them and was like, hey, you know, I'll beat somebody in a duel to win their heart or something like that, pretty much the keys went and they unlocked the Sacred Beast cards, and then the helicopter came out of nowhere and had this old man on there, <laughs> um, he was inside like a case that I guess was kind of keeping him alive um, said that he built this school and now I return from a sacred beast car is what I am Kage Maru I think that's how you say his name Kage Maru master of the shadow games it is I who sealed the cards here and was it was I who gave Shepard the seven keys but those keys are worthless to unlock the spirit gate all of that requires is a duel is dueling energy energy that you expend trying to perfect ah to protect those keys so when you really really think about it they've been playing them all along like yes the keys help out um but really it was, they were just kind of like the placebo of um just spreading the dual energy so that we could uh unlock the sacred beast cards and he wants Jaden to be his opponent now Jaden still has that one key i mean that one card that um Professor Krubs gave him, um, and you saw, like, you saw how his body changed. What happened is the energy from the Sacred Beast cards made him young again. I don't know if he was really that buff, but <laughs> made him young and buff. But what we're going to do, we're going to use Jaden's deck, because I'm hoping that maybe by chance the game will do something crazy where they'll let you use the card that, um, that the Professor gave, um, Jaden, which is, like, the card to use three magic cards at the end of your turn. <gasps> I think that's it right there! Say word, that's it right here. If you have a, okay, this is definitely not it. But if you have a Wing Karibo monster in your graveyard, pay half your life points to add one polymerization spell card or fusion spell card from your deck to your hand. Except defusion, except defusion wave motion. If this card it's sent to the graveyard, you can banish three copies of this card from your graveyard to target one monster on the field. It gains attack equal to the attack of the monster on the field with the highest attack. Your choice if there's a tie until the end of the turn. My God! This card should be illegal. <laughs> like, like, what the freak? All right, well, I'll start off just by putting um, Clayman in defense mode, and I'll leave it at that. My god, this car is crazy. Ha! Huh. One card face down, I wonder what it is. Draw! Nice. I want everything to be fiend monsters. When this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon it. You know, in effect, once per turn, you can select one fate, one level four or lower dark monster you control. It can attack your opponent directly. Okay, yeah, I gotta get that shit off my field. Um, if you have a Wing Karibo in your, I'm pretty sure that's the card though. <clears throat> like I haven't, I haven't seen it in like forever, but I'm pretty sure that's the card, or at least that's what the card looks like. Or something of that nonsense. All right, I'm gonna bring Sparkman to the field. Unfortunately, he becomes a fiend monster. And we're gonna take this bastard out. It's not a lot, but it's something. Damage is damage. And right now, I don't have a, sh I don't have anything else like really planned. Graceful charity. Yeah, 
dear God. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early. Uh, this is very risky. I'm gonna do it though. Remember, Stina checks out. I don't know how many. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I promise this is gonna be shorter than the last duel. I promise. <laughs> that last duel was ridiculous. It's taking me a long time to get like back into the. You really have three of these cards back to back to back. Got myself another Clayman. Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna put this Clayman in attack mode. Get rid of you. And I'm gonna attack you directly. Whoa, I hate that card. No. Damn it. I hate that card. Hold on, what? Hold on a second, I wanna read this card. Once per turn, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon one level four or lower Ginmi, Ginmi? Monster from your hand? Oh, wait, wait, I know what that is. Ha! I don't know why, I don't know, I don't know. I have, I have no idea. Okay. So I'm gonna keep it 700. I don't think I need Bubble Man in my hand. So I'm gonna get rid of Bubble Man just so I can get that off the field. I'm gonna activate Skyscraper. Let's go. Clayman attack. Now Sparkman attack. I'm sorry if you guys hear like some blowing. That's um that is the fan. It is hot as Bojax in this house right now. <laughs> like my word it is so hot. Huh. I would take any battle damage that that card would play. I don't want to flip over um, another playmat just yet. So if I attack you, I take the 800. Okay, I'd rather take the 800. Yep, there we go. Am I really gonna like win this duel without even have like? I don't even need to use the card. I don't even need to use the card. Oh darn it! I dropped a noodle. <laughs> I I think we just won. Oh my god, we lucked out. Yo, we lucked out. We didn't even have to use like anything. Impossible, the sacred beast cannot be defeated. Technically, you didn't even use them, old man. <laughs> oh gosh. So I got the reverse duel. Oh, that's one of the sacred beasts right there, that blue card. The creator. That's another sacred beast. I was gonna say, you really getting ready to give me all three of them right now? I'm gonna check those cards out. I haven't used them in like forever. Magna Chum Ladu. What the shellfish? I don't even know. Well, here, we're gonna jump into the next duel. We're making good time. <laughs> A duel, but if he loses, he is expelled immediately. I don't remember what this was for. This duel simply affects the rest of your life. Oh, okay, I remember this. All right, so what happens is, um, did he get invited? He got invited by Pegasus? Something happened where like um, Pegasus wanted him to come work for him to uh, invent um, Duel Monsters cards because he liked the card that he used, or that he invented. But um, Crawler said, you know, you have two options, or he said that, you know, he wasn't worthy of it. Oh, crap, see, that's what happens when you don't pick Rock. That is what happens. Um, yeah, he said that, um, 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 to prove himself that he needed to duel him. And he said if he won, you know, he could go, but if he lost, he would be expelled immediately. <clears throat> Alright, so let's check this out. If you control an ancient gear, you can special summon this card from your hand in face up attack mode. Why in the world would I want to put this in face up attack mode? Okay, if this card attacks your opponent cannot activate wow that's good that's good anti gear soldier ba -na -na -na. 
ba -da -da -da. Both players can normal summon ancient gear monsters for one less tribute. Oh. <clears throat> when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one ancient gear monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Okay. I'm going to put that out. Gear Town. Break it down. Um, I'm going to... Hmm. Reveal one level high, one level five or higher ancient gear monster. Hold on, one level five or higher ancient gear monster. Then banish a number of ancient gear monsters in your graveyard whose combined levels are double the revealed monster. And if you do, you can normal summon the revealed monster this turn. You can normal summon without. You must normal summon it without tributing. Okay, <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna use that card. That's, that's a bit much. So I'm going to put the uh, Ancient Gear Soldier in defense mode. If this card attacks, you cannot activate. Okay, cool. That's excellent. All right, yep. I'm going to leave it at that and see what Chumley's going to do. Oh, my God. Really? What does this card do? As soon as after my main phase starts. Once per turn, you can target one face of monster you control. It gains 1,000 attack points until the end phase. You must control a beast type monster other than this card to activate, to activate and resolve this effect. Woo! Thank God. So I can take this thing out this turn. It says if I control an ancient gear. It's not giving me the option to special summon it though. If you control an ancient gear, <laughs> never mind. It must mean like another ancient gear, like another one of these cards. Um, ancient gear tank. Equipped to an ancient gear monster, it gains 600 attack when this card is destroyed and sits to the graveyard. It flicks 600 to your opponent. Okay, that's cool. Um, and right, that card I'm still not using. <laughs> uh, let's go. Ancient Gear Knight in attack mode. Ancient Gear Soldier in attack mode. I'll take this thing out. Ancient Gear Knight. Now Ancient Gear Soldier. Right. Oh yeah, because you can't activate any spell traps. Okay. Now I'm going to hold on to that Ancient Gear tank just for right now. You know something though about this game? I wish that like you could... I don't want to say like just use your money just to buy the cards that you would want or need to make a deck but well, actually you know what? maybe that is what I would say but <laughs> I just feel like like I've been trying to customize a deck a little bit like I haven't really put too much oh great I've been trying to customize a deck a little bit um like we're trying to do a fire deck and right now I'm trying to do like a dragon and I want to do a warrior deck, but like I just don't, oh, whoa, what the hell? What the absolute, what, what the, what the, what the, what, what is happening right now? Oh my God. He only has a hundred, what? What? Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, I, I need to try to find out what the hell just happened. All right. Target one beast monster, uh, one beast monster in your graveyard. Special summon that, and if you do, all face-up monsters your opponent currently control loses 200 attack for each beast plant. Oh. Okay. So then, what does this do? Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Change the attack to zero. Okay, I didn't see that happen. I, I did not see that happen. Um. Wait. So you're 100 send you out there just for us both to die <laughs> cannot be special summon negates the effect of opponents monsters destroyed by battle and with this card including the graveyard the card attacks you opponent cannot die. okay all right huh all right so let's do this Wait, what? Use the gear town? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot all about that. What do you do again? <laughs> I forgot all about you, gear town. One less tribute? Monsters for one less tribute. Both players you know, monsters for one less tribute. You can special summon. Okay. 
Wait, one less tribute for this would be none. Oh! <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, let me think about this. I can take this out. It'd be better to take out Deskawala because I'll do more damage. But I could take this out. Take this out. Let's do that. But just in case he's got another Tree Otter in his hand, I'm going to use the Gear Tank now to increase my Ancient Gear Beast. Now let's get on the attack. Let's get rid of him. Now let's get rid of him. Excellent. All right, we'll end the turn right there. Oh, shit. Am I affected by that? Huh? Oh! 600. Not a lot, but it's enough. What's that? Double the attack of all machine monsters you control at both at both the activation and resolve and resolution and destroy those monsters. Oh. If I double it, it's still not strong enough though. Let me, let me I remember that card. I don't remember what I would use it for. Oh, I used to use it for my machine deck. That was a long time ago. Here we go. Now the duel start. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I remember if he fuses those two cards, he gets the, um... It's that really, really big-ass koala. I don't remember what the hell the card is called, though. And I have Ancient Gear going, but I can't do anything. Let's go. Has to be doubled though, right? Has to be doubled. Has to be doubled. So it has to be 16. On, uh, 6, 10, 14, 16. Let's go, bitch. Eat it. You know, a crawler would duel like how I just dueled. He'd win every duel. I lost. I can't get my dream job. Stop crying. It's true that you have lost a duel, but losing doesn't always mean failure. Oh, what do you mean? This duel wasn't was not to win or lose. It was to prove your abilities. Huh? <laughs> Hit him with that Rose Ross. So Chumley got the job all in all. Yo, man, we're going though. We're going. Like I said, I'm gonna try and keep on pushing out these big D O's. I swear, what I wanna do, right? How many more duels are left? Oh man, that's a lot. And plus there's a DLC duel down there too. Um, what I wanna do is I want to um continue to upload these on Friday. So like it, like I'm hoping that every Friday you'll get a new Yu-Gi-Oh! episode all right but anyway that's the end of this one um next we'll do the graduation match that the duel is gonna be hard uh <laughs> everybody you know if anybody has seen Yu-Gi-Oh! GX you know the graduation duel was freaking ridiculous all right guys make sure that you like the video share it up subscribe for some more and I'll see you in the next one all right everybody take care be safe peace